Hello everybody, this is Linda Mayo. Welcome back to Encouragement Through Cancer. Listen, I've got an outfit on for you right now. As you can see it, all right, the apparel is on. The barber shop, merchandise like this, also 62 degrees in Sumire Kumada. Oh my gosh, you better go check this baby out when it can take you from the garden to the store to an event sports activity wear special occasion yeah this baby you better check it out that's right a plus to everybody's wardrobe you need it you want it go get it fitzmerch.com and I think it's Sucre Marada. I want to pronounce it right. I mean, they just luxurious sportswear, hip hop, to the top, to the bottom, 62 degrees, ice cold, but yet smoking hot. All right, here you go. Check it out, y'all. Yeah, listen, I'm bringing you a special occasion today on the yard but I want you to see that this outfit can be worn in the yard yeah and outside of the yard just a great active wear that's got to be part of your wardrobe you won't be sorry because I love it okay and I know you will too but I'm gonna show you this yard that I've been working on and I keep telling you I'm gonna bring it back to you so you can see it all right I'm bringing it back to you so you can see it. But first of all, I wanted you to check this shirt out. Yeah, ha uh ha, -huh. there he is. Okay, listen, this clothing is carried by a family line. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm, hot and right off the press, okay. The latest things that everybody's gonna be wearing. A lot of people already is, well, Saying is believing. Pretty sharp, huh? Yep. Okay, listen. I want to show you my garden. Okay. I'm going to switch this camera around so you can see it. But I wanted you to see this one first. Okay. Let me show you the, what I've done so far for you guys to see. Okay. You still see me? All right. <laughs> Okay, let me show you. You know, I'm going to bend this camera a certain way so you can see this. And you know, the name of my show is Encouragement Through Cancer. Right? Okay, so I'm going to bend this backyard for you. Oh, pretty. See that rounder? Oh, everything. Ooh. The fencing? Mm-hmm. Look what God can do. Yeah. Whole lot of prayer. Uh-huh. And a loop of patience, a lot of time. So we can do this. Yeah. We can do this if we take our time and get it done. Okay? We don't have to push it. We don't have to worry about the trucks. I brought this segment to you at night. You could barely see it right before I, I shot this one. And I thought, I'm going to bring you back in the daytime. I know you can barely see it. But you know, I had to bring you out at night time so you could sort of see the lighting at night. Not quite done with it, but yet, you know, something that I think I want you to take your time to know that you can do this. And it's not something that's just terribly hard. It's not at all. It's just fun. It's good exercise. It's therapy for me, therapy for you, and it helps us older women stay in shape and get in shape if we're not. How about that? And it's blessing us at the same time. Because, you know, we if we don't use it, we lose it. Come on. All right. Come on. Well, we got to be saying that age. When they say, how old are you? Flip it out there. Hmm. Don't, don't, just because you can't say I'm 24. Don't mean you can't say I'm 67. I'm 55. I'm 70. I'm 77. I'm 80. My mother was 91. And let me tell you what, she can stand toe to toe with me and the rest of my four sisters, because it was five girls, and make all of us look shame. Come on. Woo. All right now. All right now. And guess what? 
we holding that baby down. Because that's exactly where we're heading for. And keeping it together, same thing. Follow the good example. Oh yeah. And she was one heck of an example. Gorgeous skin, close to the T. Anything in her wardrobe, we wanted it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, so she taught us. She laid it down the line and we're following and we're letting our girls follow in our footsteps. And the same way I'm encouraging you to hold in there, stand in there and say, you know what? Mm, it ain't over to the fat lady sings. You heard that? Guess what? Well, we fat ladies and overweight ladies and skinny ladies and whatever size we find ourselves, we ain't singing. Hmm. If anything, we shouting. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Come on now. Got this together. Gonna keep it together. All right. Now, let me show you this yard and see what we've done. Give you an update on it. All right. And what I got to go to do, okay? All right. I'm losing my voice. I told you. I've been dealing with a bunch of stuff. But look at God. Keep bringing me through. Let me put this out here so you can really see what I look like. Okay? Because the closer the camera is to my face, the heavier it looks. And I don't like to be looking heavier than I have to be. Let me turn this around a little bit more. Bam. Hello. Huh. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let me show you the garden. Okay, listen, I'm gonna show you this basket right here. Hope you're looking. Isn't that cute little bird? We set it right here. Please excuse me. I did. No help. Me and the Holy Spirit. Hello. Whole lot of praying. All the time in the yard. Basket right here beautiful basket um went with purple and pink this year a nice little bird here on the side is a lot also a lighting and let me tell you all these things are like marks okay marks the stones down here as you can see them the pathways okay all right and that's another little lighting here in the corner and of course you see this that was put up now these railings were like i told you only about 5.99 a piece that's it did you hear me 5.99 a piece at marks so god had blessings waiting for you just go get them just don't say i don't have it i don't know by faith we everything we do we take it by faith go get it go start marching I say, I want this, Lord, I'm going to put this together, and I'm going to do it little by little, and I'm not going to try to kill myself, okay? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, still wheezing, still coughing, but guess what? I'm out here. Hmm? Yeah. Just a little bit at a time. Take our time. We got this. We can do this, Okay? That's what encouragement and chance is all about. We, women, older, single, or not single, things that we've been through, we cannot let that stop us, okay? Just do it a little bit at a time. And with God's help, we coming through. You gotta believe that. All right, now, let me see. I'm just going on around here. Take you back down to the ground. And I hope you're looking at what I'm looking at. I finished the rest of the fencing in here, as you can see. I'm walking along and look at that gate y'all look at the gate that I put in and that gate was from Home Depot right yeah they will help you but to ask we have not cuz we ask not <laughs> okay the rest of this along here okay if you notice the white you see that's salt you know why because the same sidewalk salt that you side, put on your sidewalk will kill the weeds. And I didn't want weeds growing up in all my hard work. Uh-uh. All right? No. Okay. Not my hard work. No. And, it got a, and what, what, it was a waste of time. If it was going to put all the rocks down, 
and uh, the stone and then waste it? No, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna point it up so you can see stones along here. Now the basket over in this corner, as you can see. All right, alrighty. I'm going down that way. Oh, uh, end of the, the, the end of the house. Now let me go out this gate. I'm walking this way with you. I'm trying to show this to you. I'm gonna open this gate. And I'm gonna put it down here. Wait, wait. First of all, so you can see this gate that is open now. Can you see it? See how I'm closing it? See how the gate closes back? Okay. And it has a little hinge on it here that you can lock it with. Okay. So um, so hope you like it. I'm gonna back way off. And I'm gonna see if you see what I see. I'm gonna sort of look in the background and see what you can see to help you span that house. So if you can go that way and you can see that rounder there, then I'm also going to put a rock flower uh, rocks around that. The same as I did the patio as you see right here. Did you see that? Okay, wait, which way am I going with my finger? No, wrong way. I'm trying to do the, I'm trying to do the finger thing. <laughs> okay, wait, but there you go. <laughs> the border. Okay. As I boarded that, did you see there? To get that effect, there you go. And see those flowers back there, what I put in one at a time from the front? Well, I cut them and I put those around it. You see they're doing very well. They weren't at first. But the walking back and forth, the exercise in the garden, that's, that's what we have to do. Walk back and forth. That's our exercise. Again, you know, don't get the hose. Get a pitcher of water and keep walking back, forth, back. Because all those steps add up, okay, <laughs> to a better you. How about that? Better? Yeah. Here's the shed over here. See the flowers that I put along there, okay? And a little stone on the side. That plant comes back every year. This one right here. That my sister-in-law gave to me okay um let me see let me let me see let me see if i can walk you over here over here go this way and you have um a plant here as you see and there's a little blessing stone i'm still putting the lighting in guys as you see right there but let me keep walk you let me see keep going this side front i'm gonna change this out as well i'm gonna paint that Put another little reef there, okay. I'm, I'm going on the side. Well, let me see. Can you see? Oh, you can. Two plants, okay. Can you see them? Let me see. Yep, you can. One, two. All right. And I'm going to call you back this way so you can see the back of the house that way, okay. I'm trying to show you the house, not the neighborhood. How about that? Um, let me show you down here. You can see, come to the end, there you go. You see three plants along here. And that's the side of the house. This is where I told you that I did not have the lighting as of yet. It's not by the shed nor over here. But I will have it over here. And you see that white salt? Again, that's killing the grass out, very important. Do not put that sidewalk salt close to the plant because it will kill the plant, you do know that. But the open spaces like between it, well, you don't want that weeds to grow up and anywhere else where it won't rain and the water won't take the salt water to the plant. You can't do that either. Come on. So, but it will kill the weeds out. I usually pull them out first before I do anything else. And it works. Okay. But um, I know because I'm going to show you a space along the edge of the house where I've eaten it out with the weeds part where I don't want, you know, grass or weeds to grow up. Now, this bush here, right here in front of you. See how I put salt along it? It's a little white salt. Not a lot, but around the edges up look like. After I've trimmed it and cut it, that's how you save yourself some work. So I'm telling you about something that I do and that I've done all along. Not about what, let me see, let's glance just from this way. Isn't that nice? See the border, the railing? You see the, you see the backyard? Yeah. Okay. I'm smiling. 
<laughs> Come on. Let's, let's keep walking with me. Keep up with me, guys. Okay. Say, so I can't help you. You pull this away so you can see. <laughs> okay. Love my roses. These are knockout roses, okay? And of course, petunias. And I want hosta, pink, hosta. Come on. Um, and purple, junior. Hosta, pink. Like that, all the way around that border. But this baby is going to be bordered. So I'm going to walk you. Let me back up real quick. So you can see what it looks it's looking like. But this is the last thing that's going to be done. Okay? So let me back off so you can still see it. And I want you to see that. Did you see that? There you go. Now, I want you to point you toward the house. Those flowers there where the fern is hanging at, as you see. <laughs> the fern is hanging. This was already there, of course. It comes back every year. Okay? The spaces where you see there is no, um, you know, weed at. It's where the salt was at, okay? As I told you before. This comes back every year, all right? This space, empty space, no pulling weeds. But you see this, this spot here, along here, the rocks. See how it's open? Now, I've got to trim that, you wanna know why? I don't have a trimmer, and the person that does my yard doesn't, so I have to get out and I have to trim that. But guess what, again? It's helping me. I'm not going to complain. I'll get out here and I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> These. Here. here we go. And stiff flowers. I put pots inside the bigger pots. Now I bought those already grown. Okay. I, I said I bought them grown. I didn't put them in there and then grow them. Because I want instant beauty. The little rocks that you see all along. Like this. Each one of those were collected by me over the years that I lived here. That's right. Everything wasn't instantaneous. Your home is the process of what you do when you put yourself into your home. And you continue to add to it. And that's what this is. I added, you know, so don't say, I don't have the money. Just keep collecting. I will stop on the side of the road, guys. And see rocks like that. And get them. Nah, stop the car. Get out. I got this, this, this rock. I got, I can use that. Oh, yeah. And one building was being torn down. And I asked the people, I said, the demonstration coming. I said, can I, it was a store or something. I said, can I get some of these? Can I? And he was like, just don't get hurt. Yeah, get what all you want. Girl, you feel, listen, you guys, if I didn't make 15 trips back, do you hear me? And at no time have I ever had a truck. All right, okay? Including the stones that you see way back there around that patio back there it was moved in the car. All right, no truck, but in the car. So many trips. All right, make sure I didn't weigh it down either because I don't want to break it either, my car at all. Now going along this corner, as you can see, is other flowers that have been here that I put down. And before I go any further, you can see there's a hole toward over there. See that? That's the where the drain comes out. So I just dug that out. Now I'm going to fill it in with rocks so it won't get clogged up. You don't want your basement wet, all right? So all that's got to be in mind when you're doing this. If you're coming along here, all these plants are coming back every year. And these lightning that you see. I'm right where you see a lighting at. Like right here and that. Now let me show you this. Look at the black where I brought that black from the back here and accented this accent right there to make it bring the front, the back to the front. And the uh, corner um just uh design okay for the home. Uh, part of the back i wanted to bring it to the front some black okay curb appeal it's, it's called okay curb appeal and uh, again i want to come this way with it so you can see how that curves all the way going to the back 
Me back off. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I want trying to see what you see. So, can you see? I'm trying to see what you see. Okay. So, there's my rounder. And we're going around to the front of the house. But again, this is the front of this curb appeal that I wanted. And I thought it came out really, really cute. I just took this little bird house. The bird house was right at the family dollar store. Was a lot of money. Hey, this is about putting your time, thought into something before you do it. I trimmed that, okay? That rounder, I trimmed that with my little clippers, scissors, kitchen knife, butter knives work wonder, you guys. Don't ever forget that. I've used with a butter knife hmm, all my life. Let me, okay? Um, again, if you notice, there's no mulch. Did you notice that? Because, see, I can't get to the, the pathway, as you see. This empty pathway, as you see right here. You can see, can you see my feet? Hello, my feet. These stones, yeah. Salt ate that out, okay? So now, as you see, that's what is there. What are, you don't see mulch. You see the ground. Now, I will eventually, I think, put mulch in here. But when I do, I'm still going to put salt on top of that. I'm going to make sure I don't put it thick either because I wanted to kill it out. Same way when I went along the steps, all right? But this is what's so adorable. I thought it really accented it very well. I hope you like it. Okay? Yeah, let's keep walking. This basket I've had here for years. Years, years, and years, and years. I took the same marble stone and I turned my bird bath over, flipped it on its side, and put a bunch of rocks like it was spilling out. Those are white marble rocks, okay? Black Eye Susans is beside that. You see hostas. I'm balancing my hostas all the way around. And of course, my bushes that I cut there on either side. And if you look down the side of the steps, going all the way down to the sidewalk, white marble as well. And then, of course, I put lighting so that you won't fall. That's what you saw the other night when it was lit, okay? And when you look at it from this way, coming down, as you see, okay? There you go. You can see that. And, of course, it's on the other side as well. You, know, you can see. Well, let me see. Let me turn around this way. And... Um, here we go. We have another hosta here. Right? And we have my little angel. She saved in the yard. Been there for years. I just hung that again there. Just for another little accent. This bench will be painted. You don't have to have everything new. This was from a garage sale. I think they sold it for like $20. My sister-in-law moved it here for me. Okay? And uh, the pot over in the corner, that's two pots turned upside down. Top pot, bottom pot, I flipped it over to make it look ancient. Like, like, it's like, okay. A little grease effect, I love that. <laughs> you know what, grease, I love it. Um, let me see out in the yard. I put the lighting around here, four. Again, white marble that's matching over there. Okay, I want it to look cohesive. Okay, um, anything else? Oh, I love stars, I love stars, and I have one hanging on the house. Okay, and of course, that's the garage, and of course, that's the breezeway. And uh, if I went back around, you're gonna look at the other side of the house again, which would be. I'm gonna walk you so you can see around that corner. Good gracious, and there it is. That's that salt along the other side. All right, as you see. Now, as you see also, 
my home is lit. You see that light? It is lit. But I want extra lighting in my home. You know? I want extra lighting where it's decorative. Yeah. I want the decorative lighting. And I want to show you some other things about the driveway. About cracks in the driveway. I was online. I was looking at how you fix your driveway. I'm thinking, I don't have no money to do that. Huh? So this gentleman was saying how you put um, pebble. What do they say? Clean it out. Back of rods inside the hole. Get concrete filler. Then fill it up so far. Like that. Because you want to make the hole fill it up first. So you want not take so much. And I'm thinking, no. I'm going to use those pea pebbles. And fill it up. And then get the concrete seal and put it in there. I'm not even going to go with the back of rods. I'm going to see if that will work. But I'm trying to do something. Because I patched, tried to patch it over here. And it came up. If you'll see that line across this way. So if you'll see that. See that line? This way. I'll get my hands to go the right way. If I can.